Hey Synth, incredible quickie here. So um, this is the Tyranite leader and what it should look like in general. Um, and then when I select this, you'll notice that the gimbal for the pivot point is way over there. Um, now, what actually turns is the outermost thing now, and that's actually possibly um, counter to what I had said before. And the reason for that is that um, the ship itself is right here, and that's what you're working on. So the ship itself needs to gimbal properly. Um, the renderer inside of it isn't really um, isn't really the important thing. So what you had checked in looked like this, um, which had it this guy all the way over here. And of course, this is naturally going to gimbal um, properly. I can. Uh, there it is. Um, this is naturally going to wait. Zero, zero, zero. Here's where it is. Okay. What? How'd that happen? All right, that makes no sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. Um. Okay, so <sighs> hmm, not such a quick video after all. Um, Okay, I messed this up somehow rather. I'm gonna revert this. Yeah, okay. I, I see what I did. I, I put the zero 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 on the wrong thing. So actually I was telling you the right thing, but um okay. That was a good example though of the sort of problem that can result from it being in the wrong spot because the distance from the camera is based on the camera distance to the actual center point here. Now you can test where that is. As a reminder, by doing 3D object and then just do sphere. And then this is the central object. This is the center of the topmost object. And so that is the render point around which things gimbal, you know. Um, now, on this sub object, this is the one I meant to zero out before, and it's over there. This is what you had and so of course this thing itself will gimbal properly no even that doesn't gimbal properly um it does like that although it's never going to gimbal itself it's only going to be gimbling from the parent and so it would show way offset and then rotate insanely as well and the reason for that is that in the model itself that was created when I um, did a combination of these um, meshes, it wound up putting in an offset from the 000, zero, zero position, which is incidentally why when I put this to 000, zero, zero, um, the, the outermost thing, then the selection goes over there, and then this comes here, it winds up being just about correct. And so, at any rate, what I did was just simply um, uh, take this sub object and move this over using dragging it like this um, until it was at the center point. If you're having trouble telling where the center point is, well, for one thing, when you click the topmost parent, it'll show the gimbal there. But you can also just easily do a little sphere, and that way you don't have to go select the center point. Uh, in order to be able to tell 
you can just move this around. And as soon as it lines up with the sphere, you're good. Just delete the sphere, and you're done. Um, anyway, so this is kind of a revision to the earlier thing, saying the innermost object is what needs to gimbal. It's actually the one on the outside. Um, because uh, we no longer... Oh, boy. So here we go again from the look of it. Um, the fighter. Well, the fighter just wasn't showing for reasons passing understanding. Uh, maybe F key. Where are you at, fighter? Um. It's an interesting thing here. It's displaying LOD4 because it thinks it's really far away. The ca oh, the camera is, because the camera's not linked. That'll do it. That'll do it every time. Um, okay, yeah, so the fighter's fine. Um, and so is this now. So, all right, fun bumbling video. Enjoy. <laughs>